Hey guys, so in this video I just want to talk about uh, like three things that I learned from Russell Brunson and three of the most important things. I had to actually write them down on a little note and you're gonna, I'm gonna be so impressed. Yes, I can put my notes behind the camera so I can look up at them. Look at that, right now I'm looking at my little notes to myself so that I stay on track. How great is that? This is this is like a new this is like a new development in uh, in my video creation journey, and I'm extremely extremely pleased right now. So I think it's going to come through on this video. But um, as far as my whole journey with uh, Russell and ClickFunnels and that whole thing, like it really turned a corner once I got to there because I had learned about I had learned about like direct response marketing from GKIC from learning about you know things through GKIC and Dan Kennedy and it was cool because Dan Kennedy was kind of old school uh but kind of like on the edge of new school with like internet marketing and then he had other people under him there was like Dave D I learned from him um and a whole bunch of like GKIC uh training and learning and that kind of like explain to me what the concept of a sales funnel was, right? So um, that's how I, I think, I originally learned the words sales funnel. So um, then, you know, like, so I'm going through the process, I'm trying to learn as much as I can. And of course you're gonna get, you know, if you've shown any kind of interest in sales funnel, then you're gonna get hit up with like, you know, ads on Facebook, webinars, that type of thing. And that's literally what happened. It was uh, it, two times, twice. Um, I was exposed to Russell's webinar and the first time I just didn't really like I was like ClickFunnels is cool That's cool. I get it. And yeah, it might be easier than what I'm currently going through now with um, like lead pages plus six of the things and it was like they were all kind of working So I didn't really want to you know, I'm like, okay Well, I don't want to go for something else now that I've spent all this time and effort getting this thing working properly with all these six pieces and then it was the second webinar where Russell was like, oh, by the way, here, you can just like click a button and it makes funnels, but you can also, here's how to funnel hack. Here's how to reproduce someone's funnel. And here's how to go and get the traffic that they were using. And now you can just go and, and just advertise um, on the sites that their customers are going to and basically direct these people over to your funnel. So that was, that was the webinar where I was like, okay, I'm coming over. I want click funnels right now. Take my money. So once I got exposed to Russell and the whole ClickFunnels world, three of the big lessons that I learned, because I got it on my little note thing by the phone here. It's so awesome. It's so great. Uh, the first thing was to focus on one thing. Because um, when I first got ClickFunnels, I'm like, okay, let's build like funnels. Like I just, I got access. And it was like, you click a button and it was like click funnel. I was like, do you want to build a lead funnel? Do you want to build a sales funnel? Do you want to build a webinar funnel? And I was like, yes, 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 click, 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 click. And I just would spend hours playing around in the editor, trying stuff out, uh, copying other funnels and, and reproducing them in click funnels. And I just went like, I call it funnel madness. And yeah, I went through about three days of funnel madness. And then finally it was like, okay, Russell was like, just focus on one thing. So I'm like, okay, all those other funnels hit delete. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's start with just a simple tripwire funnel and just focus on that one funnel. And I did that. And good things happen because when you listen to Russell, that's it. Good things happen. So that was the first first big thing. Uh, the second is uh, publishing, publishing every day. So I did embrace that. I wish I could say I was super consistent and got and did it every day, but um, it's been like a year since the one funnel only challenge that I completed, and I've almost got seventy five episodes of my podcast recorded. So I'm going to try to be way more diligent now and just make it like a daily thing. Um, because they were long episodes, so I'm gonna, just going to try to change it to like a morning thing, just like a five to ten minute, a five to ten minute recording, uh, just in the morning, and change things up and do it like that. Because maybe that'll help me make it more consistent. Because I have it in my head that it's like this long, uh, super long affair, when really I can just shorten the episodes up. I think so. So that's what I'm going to do. So that was number two was publish, um, and then the third thing was to. Just kind of like embrace your passion. Don't just be in it because like, yeah, you want to create an online business, but it's about, you know, if your business is your passion and what you're doing and you're helping people, like the money will follow. If you just kind of embrace what you're doing and just focusing on, you know, helping people get results and, and just, you know, embracing how passionate you are about things. And that's just kind of how it is when it comes to like click funnels and online marketing, um, you know, creating information products, that kind of stuff. Like I could just talk about that stuff all day. So it's, you know, once, 
once you just embrace that and dive into it without thinking like, oh, I gotta make money and I gotta sell stuff, you know, <clears throat> good things will happen and things will change. So, so that's it. That's the three most important things uh, that I've learned from Russell Brunson. So I will see you in the next video.